video, we are going to go over calculating eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix in SAS. So we first need to define our matrix. I'm going to use, for example, the 2x2 two two identity matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1. The format for this is call eigen, so it's spelled E-I-G-E-N, parentheses eval, comma, evec, comma, whatever the matrix is, in this case A, which is what I used. All right, and then this is in the form of, and actually let me write down here as I'm saying it. This is in the form of the eigenvalues, and then eigenvectors, and then the matrix. This is in the, f in the form of eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and the matrix. And then we want to print eval and evac. And let me actually negate the other part of this just to show it as an example. It gives us the eigenvalues for that matrix. We have two ones, and that's because if we looked at the, um, the, ma the identity matrix, when we subtract lambda from each of the two ones on the diagonal, and then subtract 0 in order to calculate the eigenvalue, we just obtain 1 minus lambda times 1 minus lambda. That just gives us 1 twice as an eigenvalue, which is why we have 1 twice. We have two, we have two um, eigenvalues. They're not distinct. They're both the same number, but we have two of them. And the associated eigenvectors for this going from left to right, um, one is 0, 1, and the other one's 1, 0. Now, to use a different matrix, let's use the matrix 0, 1, negative 2, negative 3. And the same code. This will give us now a different matrix here of this. Notice how the first one up here just had one column for the eigenvalues. Here we have two. And the reason for this is due to the fact that the left column are the eigenvalues, um, the real numbers of the eigenvalues. The right column are the complex part of the eigenvalues. So this is this would be negative one plus. 0 times i, but since this is a 0 anyway, we don't need to really worry about this column. We just get the real eigenvalues of negative 1 and negative 2. And then the corresponding eigenvector for negative 1, eigenvector will be 0 0.7071 and negative 0 0.7071. So it goes by column again. And then likewise for negative 2, it's negative 0 0.4472 and 0 0.8944. To do one more example involving these particular eigenvalues and eigenvectors, once my computer decides to move over already, um, let me call a different matrix. Let's do a 3x3 three three matrix this time. I don't know, let's just choose random numbers. A negative 2, negative 2, 3, comma. 5, 0, 4, comma. And then let's do negative 1, negative 2, and then 1. And now, for this, let's do call eigen eval, evec, and this is matrix B now. We want to print eval, and then print evec. And then we're going to run that. Doing so now will give us the new, new eigenvalues and eigenvectors. Again, these are based upon real, real part of the eigenvalue and the complex. So we have 1, 2, 
three of them for those three by three matrix. And then the associated eigenvectors are done here for each of these three distinct eigenvalues. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.